What's up YouTube? Matt for Three Pound Fishing. Very cold morning, 27 degrees. Probably the coldest day so far this year, but we're gonna get dressed for a beautiful day on the water. We're gonna put a limit of fish in the boat. I need fish for a fish fry, so I'm actually gonna keep them today. And we're gonna go searching for some big fish on the lake. We need a limit and we're gonna do it quick, but let's get some warm gear on first. All right, so I use a Wind Rider. Everything I got is pretty much Wind Rider because I love their stuff. Their customer service is like second to none. And I always say customer service is probably my number one thing, but I stay dry, I stay warm. And this new floating suit, the Hayward, freaking it's awesome. This is a floating suit. So if you don't have a floating suit, very critical. Seriously consider the Hayward. A, it's warm. A, it floats. B, it's got, C, it's got awesome customer service. Looks freaking awesome. And uh, there's actually a link down below and they give a 10% off, I believe, if you use the code three pound fishing. So check them out. The link is in the description. And uh, yeah, it just doesn't get any better. And it's affordable. All right, so definitely one of the coldest days of the year. If not, I think it is the coldest day. It is the coldest morning for sure. Been fishing almost about every day, it seems like. And we got the, the steams rolling off the lake. Uh, water temperature is currently sitting around 53 degrees. So water temperature's definitely plummeted since this cold front came through. And, uh, but look, it's gonna be a bluebird day. That sun's gonna pop. It's gonna get awesome, man. Check it out. Just, that's why you get up in the morning. We're gonna keep a limit today. Um, and uh, have a ball doing it and just seeing where these fish are at. I got nobody in the boat. I get to go to places that I don't typically get to go to during guide trips and uh, really try to target some smaller uh, objects to fish on. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So let's buckle up, here we go. Look at those fish right there, all around this stump. And I don't have the crappie brakes, so I'm having to make a modification today. So a lot of times we might lose our screen when I have to adjust for speed. But, all right, so look at that guys. That's perfect. Look at this guy. See what this guy looks like. First fish of the day. You see my favorite eating size. Oh, he's close. He's really close. I think we might keep him. He might be number one. Just casting at him. Stand back again, 30 feet. We're gonna keep a bunch of fish today. Boom. So yeah, these fish are up shallow. Uh, this is a good cast. These fish are up shallow. I mean, shallow for what I can what I consider shallow. Uh, anything between really four and ten feet is shallow, in my opinion. Oh, there we go. And when you get that water temperature, look, it's at 55 right now. It's at 53 yesterday. Uh, you get you get aggressive fish. My favorite. Now we will be moving around quite a bit today just because it's also a good opportunity to look for new places for the guide trips. Um, these spots, based on who's in the boat, oh my gosh, um, that's just, we're gonna let him go. Uh, based on who's in the boat, who's got the casting, who wants to adventure and try little small spots, um, that's what we do. We go, you know, we basically cater it to the skill of the of the anglers and what they want to accomplish during a trip and this is some of the smaller targets that you have to hit and you have to just be spot on or you waste a lot of time recasting but the reward can be great because you know people say and and, and i agree that bigger fish tend to lurk alone they lurk on smaller structures they don't tend they will be don't get me wrong they will be on big stru uh, structures but um I think you experience more bigger fish on smaller stuff over that thing. Yeah. 
and we are gonna make it quick. Yeah, that's a keeper. My perfect size eating fish is an 11 inch fish right there, guys. This guy came from a long way. <laughs> oh my God. Anytime I see a fish going complete vertical to get to the, my bait and coming from a long way, you know he's gonna hit. So, look at that. We're gonna let him go though. We don't have to keep every single one we catch, but we are gonna get our limit today. That's the key. It's a slab. Oh, that's a good fish right there, guys. Bam. Great fish right Man, there. I'm warm. I'm warm, but I can tell you this. It's, it is brisk out here with the wind, no doubt about it. My fingertips. The only thing that's not covered is my fingertips. <laughs> the one, only thing that's hurting. But uh, all right, hammer 10, 10 footer. Looking for something for Christmas. This is an awesome, awesome rod. You can get it at threepoundfishing.com. I fish. Uh, we talk about braid and fluoro mono a lot, and I'm a big believer in braid, as most of the crappie industry is starting to go to, which is pretty cool. But I'm also a very big believer in thin stuff. This is a four-strand optimal from Sniping Braid. It is super light. It makes it super easy for me to cast that one thirty-second ounce jig right there. I made out of uh, three-pound fishing blackhead, and um, and I just made it. So a hair jig. So it's actually available on the website if, you, if you're interested. It's called the Swamp. But there's also a lot of hair jigs out there on my website that are, um, you can buy one at a time. Check, check this out. It's just, you know, if you can fish with a hair jig, I'm just, my, my total advice to everybody is fish with a dang hair jig because you don't have to mess with the dang plastics. Um, it doesn't work all the time and it doesn't work on every lake. But a, a 132nd ounce jig head, this guy's, you can buy it by, by once it's two dollars on the website you can buy it in packs of three packs of five or just one one simple one here's another one that's on there that's just a just you can buy it by ones the grenada slammer um this guy right here orange green and black uh my point is is that hair jigs absolutely can smoke it in the uh, in the fall and the winter time i'm gonna take the swamp off right there I'm actually gonna to go to an all white right now. And the other thing about fall fishing um, is that really it's not necessarily a morning bite in my personal opinion. So this is gonna be the loop now. Miles will show you again. Everybody everybody asks when they get in the boat, but then when I show it, they're like, man, you show that a lot. Well, I show it a lot. So <laughs> it's a, everybody wants to see it. So um, through the loop right here, you're gonna twist it around like this. And then you're going to put it right back through the loop that you created. And we call this the gob of stuff right here. You're going to see. So that's the gob right there. See how gobby it is? And at that point, you're getting to decide where you want that loop knot to occur at. And I want it to be as close to the eyelid as possible. And that's not, that's not too bad. So that's the loop knot. That's the all white jig. And I bet you we absolutely freaking smoke it with that. It's available on the website. Singles, threes, fives. You can buy a different size packets. Um, but they're very inexpensive. I love it. So I am trying to focus more on hair jigs um, as long as I possibly can with three pound fishing because A, I just think they're the way to go. They're the easiest ticket uh, in regards to fishing, catching, and not having to worry about sliding off your jig head. Um, but at the same time, you gotta use what's working, and right now, hair jigs are working. Mmm, perfect. 
Perfect, perfect size, baby. The old white does it again. See, I'm targeting these guys right here. Those might be better fish. So we lay it right on them. Boom, got one of them. That's perfect. I like this textbook. Yeah, great fish. Great fish. Yeah, what a great day. Actually morning, it's 9.30. Uh, I don't know, caught caught probably about 40 or 50. I'm only keeping about 24. Uh, so great day though. I mean, easy catching as it gets. We're gonna clean a couple here. I'll show you what I'm doing here in terms of cleaning. Um, I do use the Bubba, the Bubba knife. I love it, um, I really do. And uh, obviously, we got a good take home today, so let's clean a couple. Flip it. Play. Right there, follow the spine all the way to the back. There, cutting out the ribs is real simple. I'm not real fancy about it. I use the electric as well. And that is a slab, baby. All right, guys, well, I appreciate you guys watching today. A lot of fillets going in the bag. So that's a great start for our fish fry. We do a fish fry every year and it takes a lot of fish. And I mostly get all that fish from the winter time. Um, just because I like a cold filet, from the minute I catch it to the minute I put it in this freezer. So, hey, appreciate you guys watching. Please share. Check out the Windrider equi equipment to stay warm. They're awesome. Um, and make sure you use the link in my bio in my description below. So, thanks guys. Have a great one.